So in today's video, I'm going to be rebuilding the god-awful franchise that is the Toronto Maple Leafs. One playoff series win in the Matthews era in eight seasons is unacceptable with this player and unacceptable with this core. So that means GM Pasta is on the job here in Toronto. I just landed. We are going to be making changes, making moves, and hopefully improving this roster and ultimately winning the goal, which is to break the over 50-year curse of winning a Stanley Cup here in Toronto. I mean, to take a look at their contracts at the moment, we are going to be in cap hell if we do not move one of the core four. I mean, John Tavares at an 87 overall is making $11 million. That is just unacceptable. We got to re-sign Liljegren at the end of the season. He is an RFA, though. Tyler Bertuzzi and Max Domi both got to get re-signed all of our depth forwards and defensemen. So yeah, I mean, one of these guys has to go. I think we do have to make the ultimate trade of one of these core four players to help improve us defensively and more importantly, goalies. I mean, we do have Joseph Wall, but he is 25 years old. So I don't know how much he's actually going to grow at an elite and medium potential. Samsonov, you're probably gone, brother. 3.5 mil. You're not really the greatest goalie in the world to begin with. So we got a lot of changes. A lot of ideas that we got to think of on how we can improve this roster. All right, so the first order of business, we got to trade one of the core four, Mitch Marner. The only reason I'm trading him and not Nylander is because Nylander does have franchise potential. Also better with being one year older. Throwing in a first, a few third round picks for Logan Thompson, Shea Theodore, and Ivan Barbashev from the Vegas Golden Knights. And it is a done deal as we have shipped out Mitchell Marner to Vegas, getting back a goalie, a number one D-man, and another forward to replace Mitch. Next up, we need to get a guy built for the playoffs. That is Tom Wilson and a centerman to replace John Tavares. Also throwing in our prospect, Frazier Minton, and two second or a second in a third round pick. And that trade has been accepted by the Washington Capitals. So right away, GM Pasta is wheeling and dealing. Oh, we got to fill out our decor, our bottom six pairing defenseman, Sean Dursey, bringing him in. One year left on his deal, elite, a low potential. He is like an 84, I believe. 25 years old, so he's not particularly old for a bunch of drafts picks put it in as the Arizona Coyotes consider it a done deal. So as we head into season number one, after all the changes that I did make, we do have Nylander, Matthews, and Wilson on that first on that first line. A plus five there with Barbashev, Strom, and Nyes. And then our third line, we got Bertuzzi, Domi, Yarncroc. Our fourth line's pretty decent, but defensively, this is where we upgraded. Riley and Theodore, a plus five on that first D pair. We also have Lilia Grimm with Dursey, and then Jake McCabe and TJ Brody. And in goal, we have an 85 overall Stanley Cup champion in Logan Thompson, and our backup is Joseph Wall, who's an 83. We can honestly rotate these goalies back and forth through the regular season, and maybe even the, even in the postseason if one of these guys plays bad, we can help them out and throw in the backup. Now that we have traded John Tavares, our new captain will be Shea Theodore with the assistants being Morgan Riley and Austin Matthews as we need a bona fide Stanley Cup champion to lead this core to a Stanley Cup. Here we are at the trade deadline, 38, 19, and six, trying to make a blockbuster deal for Patty Kane and Wallman from the Red Wings. They wanna give both of them up for a first two seconds. Bobby McCann and Pontus Holmberg, and it has been rejected. Okay. Instead, I'll throw in another first round pick to make this deal work, and it has gone through. The Toronto Maple Leafs are going all in in year number one to break the 57 year curse. So, at the end of our very first season as the general manager, we will go 49, 26, and 7, 105 points, second in the Atlantic Division as the Edmonton Oilers were the best team in the entire NHL, followed by Florida, Colorado, and then us. So we were top four. Carolina, Dallas, we all have the right teams at the top. At the bottom, we got Washington, Buffalo, San Jose, and Columbus. Austin Matthews is going to have a great season. 63 goals, 104 points. Nylander had 94 with 23 goals. Patty Kane, I mean, he didn't play a lot of the season with us. In 19 games, he only had 14 points. But on the Red Wings, he produced Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson had a 30-goal season and 65 points. Literally the perfect winger for that first line. Morgan Riley, probably a career high. Shea Theodore had a great season. Dylan Strome was good. I mean, we were just one of the best teams in the NHL. As Logan Thompson had a 906 save percentage. Joseph Wall had a surprisingly good season. 924 save percentage, 237 GAA. 
If Thompson does fail in the postseason, we can always go to him as our backup. Zachary Effin Hyman will lead the entire NHL in scoring with 105 points, a 91 overall power forward, followed by Matthews. McDavid was up there at 103. Rope Hints had a good season. Pavelski 100 points, as well as Kale McCarr. What is going on in the sim? If we take a look at the goals, Matthews, of course, going to lead 63 on the season. Hyman had 53. He's one of the best goal scorers in the entire league. Rope Hintz had 47. McKinnon, 46. And David Pasternak, 45. Okay. What about goalies? Logan Thompson, were you up there? Pekka Pasta. There it is. 10 shutouts, 46 wins, and a 919 save percentage leading the NHL. And here we go. We got to face the Tampa Bay Lightning in the very first round yet again, but with a much better roster than we had previously. We are one and one with them in the last uh, couple playoff runs that we have faced them. So let's see if we can go on and break the tiebreaker. Game number one here in the first round has been bananas. Tampa Bay in the first period go up 4-1. Toronto comes back in the second, ties it up. And here we are in the third period. I'll knot it up at four apiece. Can the light? No, Mikhail Sergachev, you're not even on Tampa anymore. He scores on Joseph Wall. Oh, I mean, Logan Thompson probably did get pulled. That's probably why he's in the net. And the Tampa Bay Lightning will tie, or not tie, but take the lead here in game number one of the first round. Here in game number two in the third period, we are down 3 nothing. How? How are we simulating so poorly? I mean, we, we can't beat Andre Vasilevsky right now, and our goaltending is not doing us any favors whatsoever. I mean, we're down by three. Our offense down by four, and that is going to do it. The Tampa Bay Lightning will steal the first two games in Toronto and take a 2-0 series lead. This is literally not even possible. Logan Thompson, our 85 overall starting goalie, has a 740 save percentage through two games and a 637 goals against average. What is going on? There it is. William Nylander takes the lead early in the third period. I threw Matthews on two different lines, put Wall in the net, so it looks like we're simulating a little bit better power play, and Anthony Duclair will tie the game up at three apiece. Man, are we not simulating well. Power play, power play for Toronto, and we can't get it. Oh, my God. Barrio Boulay will score late in the third period as Tampa Bay goes up 3 nothing over the Toronto Maple Leafs in round number one. Heading into the third of an elimination game. Our season is on the line. We're down by one. Hopefully we can make something out of it. Power play for Toronto and nothing gets to go. Oh my God, like how? We have one of the best power plays in the league. There's no way. Five minutes, there we go. Tyler freaking Batuzzi ties the game up. Four minutes to go in the third. Please just hold off, please. And here we go. Game number four, season on the line in Tampa Bay. Overtime, all we need is one shot here. Wallman coming in, shoot it. Wallman, rebound, there it is. Patrick Showtime Kane. Scores the overtime winner, and we will not be swept in round number one as we finally win a game in the postseason. Didn't even take that long, to be honest, but it does not matter as we are headed back to Toronto. Can we hold on to a two-goal lead in the third period of game number five? Sorelli gets back to within one on Joseph Wall. Come on, Toronto. Shut the door. I bolstered our decor and our goaltender. We should be able to keep the goddamn puck out of the net and not have to worry about them tying this up. Three minutes to go. One minute. And there we go. Jake McCabe gets the insurance marker as we are headed back to Tampa Bay for game number six. Why? All right. We got a tie game. There we go. Barbashev gives us the lead early in the third period. Sean Dersey scores on Andre Vasilevsky. We get an insurance marker. Toronto in the third period coming out absolutely hot. Power play. Kill it off. There we go. We get a power play. Oh, my God. Back and forth hockey. We got a two-goal lead. Five minutes to go. Third period. Can the Leafs force a game seven back? Back on home ice and we are going to do it down 0-3 to the Tampa Bay Lightning but we're not done yet a game seven in Air Canada Center heading into the third period we are up by two in game seven trying to pull off the impossible a 3-0 comeback come on shut the goddamn door Toronto 10 minutes to go 3-1 lead over Tampa Bay Oh, this is going to be a nail biter. Five minutes to go. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. The Toronto Maple Leafs have come back down 3 nothing, and they are off to the second fucking round. How on earth did we just pull this off, dude? 
Down 3-0, looks like nothing is going our way. And then all of a sudden, the overtime victory by Patrick Kane gives us momentum. A 3-1 victory back on home ice. Then we go to Tampa Bay, force a game seven. And then in game seven, we slay our demons beating the Tampa Bay Lightning 3-1, and we're off to round number two. Oh, no, we have the Boston Bruins in round number two. Fuck my life. We are going to get wrecked. This is not going to be good. Not going to be good for my mental health. We have a very tough, tough task ahead of us. All right, so taking a look at Boston's roster, I mean, they have a very good first line. Marshawn, Pasternak, and Zaka passes up to a 94. Okay. Second line is pretty good. Third and fourth line, I think we have them beat there defensively. I mean, Lindholm, McAvoy, Carlo, that beats our decor no matter what. We do have Shea Theodore, but they have a 93 overall McAvoy and a 92 overall Jeremy Swayman. I'm not ready to face him in both Linus Allmark and KC plays bad. This is going to be a tough series. The Toronto Maple Leafs in game one have scored three straight goals and we are up by two. Can we hold on? Shut the door. There we go. Tom Wilson insurance marker. And that is game. Game number one will go to Toronto. Seven to two. Absolutely embarrassing the Boston Bruins. It is not looking too great for Toronto here in game number two. Boston definitely showed up after we absolutely embarrassed them. 4-1 lead in the third. I do not believe we can come back. But there we go. Power play. Mm, there's no time left. No time left. Another power play. And there it is. The Boston Bruins will win 5-1 to one in game number two. We got a tie game here in the third period. Boston, Toronto, game number three. No, 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 no. There we go. Tom Wilson again. What an, a pickup he was, man. I traded for him. I trusted him to come up in the big moments, and he has. He's a Stanley Cup champion for a reason. Can we hold on here and be in town? Five minutes to go in the third period. Come on, Toronto. Shut the door. Two minutes to go, and the Toronto Maple Leafs will take a 2-1 series lead over the Boston Bruins. Third period, down by one, trying to go up 3-1 in the series. Oh no, Pavel Zaka gets the second insurance marker power play. Can we get back to within one? No, we can't score in the power play. And Brad Marchand, there it is. It does not look like we're going up 3-1 in this series. Honestly, this series has, has game seven written all over it. Dylan Strom gets one, but it's too little too late as the Boston Bruins tie up the series at two apiece. And the Toronto Maple Leafs hold on to a 2-1 lead here in game five and put the Boston Bruins on the verge of elimination. There we go. Matthews on Swayman, the insurance marker that we need. Oh my God, Matthews again. Matthew gets a pair. Matthews, third period hat trick in game number five. Finally stepping up in the postseason for the very first time in his career as the Toronto Maple Leafs will take a 3-2 series lead and try to eliminate the Boston Bruins. A third period hat trick by Austin Matthews. Here we are in Boston. The Bruins season on the brink of elimination down 4 nothing as we have absolutely dominated them. They do get one back. Campus Lindholm. Oh no. Not 2013 all over again. Please, Toronto, hold on. This is a different Toronto team. A much, much different Toronto team as they are headed to the conference finals for the first time since, what, 03? When was the last time Toronto made the conference finals? The hell out of here. Slayed our demons in the first round of Game 7 to Tampa. Slayed our demons to the Boston Bruins in the second round in six games. And now we are in the conference finals. So here we are in the conference finals facing the Philadelphia Flyers who really don't have that good of a team, which honestly scares me because it means that they are simulating very, very well. And then in the Western Conference, we have the Edmonton Oilers versus the Colorado Avalanche. So taking a look at the roster, I mean, our first line demolishes their first line. Their second line's not great. Their third line's okay. They got some decent depth, but I mean, overall, top to bottom, we are the better team defensively. I mean, Drysdale is only an 80 overall. Sandheim's their best defender at an 86. Defensively, they're not great. And in goal, they have an 82 overall goalie. Okay, so this absolutely means that Philadelphia is simulating very well in the playoffs, which scares me to death. We got an absolute barn burner in game number one, a 5-4 lead for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Can we hold on? I'm scared to death of this Philly team, dude. They scored four goals on us with that offense that they have. They, they have some EA magic on their side. 
for the fact that they even made the conference finals. Five minutes to go, a one-goal lead. Can Toronto hold on and take a 1-0 series lead? And we are going to do that as we take game number one. We do have a much closer game here. Well, I mean, it was a one-goal game, but it was more goals. 1-0 lead for Philly. Power play. Can Toronto get back in this game? Come on, boys. Matthew, step up. Nylander, maybe. Nylander, it's been a while since you put the puck in the back of the net, dude. Patrick Kane, maybe? Anybody, please? Somebody, no way we're going to let an 82 overall goaltender shut us out. All right, another third period where we are trailing. Do we? Oh, my God. Four Chester scores on wall and the Philadelphia Flyers. I guess they're the best team in hockey. I mean, they're simulating like the best team. Oh, my God. We are getting destroyed. Finally, going into the third, the Toronto Maple Leafs have a lead in this game. But the thing is, can we hold on to it and tie up the series at two apiece? We cannot. We cannot expect to win this series. Falling down 3-1. That's just not going to happen. So we need this game. A 2-1 lead. Five minutes to go. Come on, Toronto. Head back to Scotiabank Center with a tied-up series at two apiece, baby. The Toronto Maple Leafs in the third period of Game 5 hold a three-goal lead as we are, are up 4-1 over the Philadelphia Flyers trying to take a 3-2 series lead. There it is. Shea Theodore, second of the night. As we put Philly on the brink of elimination, we have a one goal lead in the third period with the chance to advance to the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time since 1967. Yes, the last time Toronto was in the Cup Finals was the last time they won it. There we go! Austin Matthews insurance marker. All right, so here we are. A 5-1 lead or 4-1 lead, 26 seconds to go. Joseph Wall, nice save. But the Toronto Maple Leafs are on the verge of making their very first cup final since 1967. Bro, has Ethernet is from the 80s? What do you mean? Chat, you need an Ethernet cord for a PC. That's the best connection possible. My Wi-Fi is one of the best. I'd never have problems with my Wi-Fi as long as I'm connected. So do not, do not flame my Wi-Fi here, chat. We're, we're going to be focusing on Toronto right now. 16 seconds to go. We are getting hemmed into our own zone, and Wallman will take a penalty. All right, 13 seconds to go. Can we just hold on? I mean, we should be able to. It's a three-goal lead. 10 seconds, and there it is. GM passed it in his first season as the general manager of Toronto has gotten this team back to the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time in over 57 years as I have just edged my name into hockey history with Toronto, regardless of the outcome. I mean, I've gotten the Leafs further than any other GM literally ever has, honestly, outside of... I don't even know if they had GMs way back in the 1960s and 50s. That was so long ago as Captain Shea Theodore leading the way for our squad. He's a Stanley Cup champion. There's a reason I put the C on his sweater. And here he is coming to collect. He's not going to touch the trophy as the Toronto Maple Leafs now have the opportunity to play for Lord Stanley. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have to face Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers. This will be the most, most watched Stanley Cup Finals in NHL history. No debate about it. McDavid versus Matthews, Dreisaitl versus Nylander, Theodore versus Bouchard. And unfortunately for the Oilers, I'm on the other side here as we are trying to bring a Stanley Cup back to Toronto. So taking a look at the Oilers roster, I mean a 99 McDavid, 97 Drysettle, and a 91 Zach Hyman. That first line destroys our first line. They also have Nuge, Henrik, and Fogel. Kane, McLeod, Perry, yeah, their offensive core is very good defensively. Bouchard's up to a 91 with Ekholm at an 89. Nurse is not like he is in real life. He's not going to simulate bad. He's an 87. Broberg's there, so defensively they're pretty good. And they have a 99 overall Pekka Pasta in goal. This is going to be a tough series. All right, Toronto holds on to a two-goal lead in the third period. And there we go. Hyman gets them back to within one. Oh, my God. Hyman ties up the game. Matthews breaks the tiebreaker. What a gong show of a game one in the cup finals. 6-5. Oh, my God. Evander Kane ties it up. Come on, somebody. Somebody somebody score on the power play. No, 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 no. Kill that off. Five minutes to go in the third period. This is literally going to be a roller coaster of a series, isn't it? Oh, no, it is. Power play, power play. Oh, we got overtime. All right, here we are. Game one of the Stanley Cup Finals, and we have overtime. I mean, for God's sake, 6-6 six, six tie in game one. Absolute gong show of a game. Oh, no, McDavid coming in. Dreisaitl, get it out, boys. Matthews moves it up to Wallman. 
Wallman walking over to Nylander. I need a bit. Here we go. Nylander, you had him wide, Nylander. Why did you not go wide? Oh, no. Hyman is going to destroy us, isn't he? In the middle. Uh, Ekholm. Down low. Kane. Patty Kane. Can Patty Kane have some magic in him? Shea Theodore. Uh, oh, my God. Shea Theodore. Matthews shooting. No rebound there. That would have been an inch. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. Nylander, Nylander shooting, and Pekka Pasta will make the save. If the Oilers win the Stanley Cup, Hyman's their playoff MVP. He has 22 points in the postseason. Oh, no. What line do we have here? Strom Wilson. Did he hit the post there? I don't even know. Nice. Get on that, Nice. I need you harder on that forecheck. Oh, no. Hyman coming in. Slap shot. And good save by Wall. And Wall is going to play it up to McCabe. McCabe, move it. Here we go. Nice. Locking in. Over. Here we go. It's two on one. Wilson, rebound. No, Matthew, nice. What a great save by Pekka Pasta. How did Dylan Strom not get a piece of that? Strom behind the net, walking out in the middle. And another great save by Pasta. All right, overtime, 13.05 left to go. We lose the draw. Is this is our third line out there right now or our second line? I think, yeah, it's our third line with uh, Bertuzzi, Domi. Oh, no. Fogel. What a save. What a save. Can we get it out? Can we get it out? Please get the puck out. Let's get our first line back out there. First line minutes. Liljegren. Move the puck, Liljegren. Over to McCabe. Walking in, Matthews. I need I need Matthews to do something. Matthews looking. What a pass. What a save, though, by Pekka Pasta. Yeah, the net showtime. Over Matthews. Get it. N Nylander. William Nylander. How? How do you not grab that puck, dude? Go, go, go. We got a counterattack. Nylander, all the speed in the world. Blow by him. Nylander holding. Nylander waiting. Uh, behind the net, Patty Kane. Back to the point. Back to Riley. Shot on net. That was an easy save for Pekka Pasta. Nice steal. Kane. Trying to jam it short side, but it will not go. All right, there's a massive draw. We got our third line back out there. I should have probably... Oh, Jersey on net. Rebound is there. Pekka Pasta has zero energy. Shoot the puck on net. He's going to flop like a fish. We have full pressure as well, and we just let them skate out. We just literally let them skate out. Full attack. Come on. Get our first line out there. I want our first line. I don't care if they're... Uh, they're tired. Get out there. Nylander. Coming in. Nylander. What a fluky little shot behind the net. Gets the rebound. Out of front. Kane. Back to uh, Jersey in the middle. There it is. There it is. Austin Matthews. Overtime winner. As the Toronto Maple Leafs will steal game number one. And take a 1-0 series lead in the Stanley Cup Finals. Game number two. We have a tie game in Edmonton. Obviously, we stole the first one in overtime. Can we have a big goal here? Nylander, step up. There we go. Max Domi gives us the lead with 10 to go here in the third period. Can we hold on? Joseph Wall, I need you to be a brick wall right now. Four minutes to go. Three, two, one. And the Toronto Maple Leafs have gone to up 2 nothing in the Stanley Cup final, stealing both games on the road. The Edmonton Oilers definitely were due for one, but we're not out of it yet. A one-goal game. Shea Theodore gets us back. Come on now, come on. Somebody tie it up. Matthews, where are you at? Austin Matthews, tie the game up, brother. Tie the game up, Austin Matthews. Nine minutes to go. Can the Edmonton Oilers hold on, or will Toronto have a comeback in game three? Uh, it's not looking too great, and the Oilers are going to win their first game of the series and not fall down 3 nothing in the finals. Okay, it has been an absolute stalemate here in game number four. 1-1 one, one after 1-3-3 one, three, three after 2 what can the Toronto Maple Leafs? There we go. Dylan freaking Strom gets us the lead here in the third period. But can we hold on? Please, Toronto, hold on for the love of God. Eight minutes to go. Seven. Joseph Wall, I need you to be a brick wall and shut the door as the Toronto Maple Leafs are one win away from winning the Stanley Cup. With the Stanley Cup in the building, can the Toronto Maple Leafs hold on to this lead? And finally, for the first time in 57 years, Austin Matthews gives us the insurance marker. 3 nothing lead with under five minutes to go here in the third. Can the Toronto Maple Leafs do it? Can they break the curse for the first time? They're going to get one back, but I don't think it's going to matter. And here we are. Stanley Cup in the building in Edmonton. A 3-1 lead for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Can we just hold on? We have 30 seconds to go. 25 left. Can the Toronto... Okay, we got, we got an offside. Can we hold on and do it for the first time since 1967? 57 long years. The Toronto Maple Leaf fan base has been waiting for this moment. And we are... Oh, no. My dog is barking. No. There's no can't, chat, can you guys hear that? There's no way. I just got to be loud. Empty net. Shea Theodore put it home. 10 seconds, Matthews. I don't think it's going to matter. Just kill it off, Matthews. No. Dreisaitl. Leon. Dreisaitl. What a save by Joseph Wall. All right, 4.3 seconds to go. 
the Toronto Maple Leafs for the first time in almost 60 seasons are Stanley Cup champions. That is right. In year number one, GM Pasta made all the moves that he had to make to improve this core, and we got the job done. Only one season it took me to build this team into a Stanley Cup champion. I mean, Matthews had a great postseason, breaking the all-time goals record. Joseph Wall played actually very good after Logan Thompson shit the bed in the first three games to Tampa Bay. Down 0-3 in the first round, a miraculous comeback as Conn Smythe winner Austin Matthews, 22 goals, 32 points. I mean, the best goal scorer in the league and finally showed up when it mattered the most as GM Pasta definitely did cook chat. And in year number one, we are gonna be able to raise the Stanley Cup. Unfortunately, it had to be against my favorite team. It hurts me to the core to see the Oilers lose in another Stanley Cup final series. That is crazy. Here comes our captain, Shea Theodore, a experienced Stanley Cup champion, now a two-time Stanley Cup champion, as he's now the captain of the team, leading the Toronto Maple Leafs to the glory land or the promised land, whatever the hell that saying is. Regardless, we got the job done in year number one. He is going to hand the cup off to the Conn Smythe winner and Austin Matthews. All the flack that he had for, honestly, very good reason. He, he's been a ghost in the playoffs basically his entire career. But as soon as GM Pasta showed up, he became... An all-time great scorer in the postseason. He will pass it off to his line mate and maybe partner in crime and William Nylander. Been here basically the same amount of time as Austin Matthews through those eight horrible years of losing the first round seven times. But finally, they can call themselves Stanley Cup champions. Showtime Patty Kane, finally, 36 years old, a pickup at the deadline, turned our playoff run around after scoring the overtime winner when we were down 0-3 to Tampa Bay. That literally set the entire postseason run, set the comeback as the Toronto Maple Leafs our Stanley Cup champions for the first time since like World War II. Like when it was a lot, they haven't even been, they haven't played a game in June before, but they got the job done. Now for the postseason, Matthews, I mean, nobody else on our team even had 10 goals. Matthews 22, setting an NHL record. Patty Kane, almost point per game at 35 years old, only an 86 overall. Shea Theodore was good, Nylander was good. Tom Wilson came up with a lot of timely goals. And if we take a look at Joseph Wall, a 927 save percentage, 16 wins after Logan Thompson shit the bed in the first two games. I mean, that is probably the worst playoff stats by any goalie in the history of goalies. Zach Hyman is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. Matthews, the Maurice Richard, the Norris, the Kill McCarr. Matthews, also the Con Smythe. Pekka Pasta will win the Vesna, and the Selkie will go to Alexander Barkov. Draft lottery results. San Jose via Pittsburgh will get selecting, or actually will be selecting first overall. They went eight to one with the Pittsburgh pick. Washington fell to third and Buffalo stayed at second. Okay. In the, the re-sign phase, now Patty Kane is probably the biggest uh, free agent we might want to get back. He is 35 years old, but he was very good in the postseason. 87 overall, really helps out our forward core. And I mean, go down the list, of course, also, TJ Brody. I might end up leaving him walk. We got to get back Nicholas Robertson. He's an RFA, so I can't qualify him. And also Bertuzzi and Max Domi. I'll probably only keep one of these guys. Maybe not even because we only have $5.9 million in cap space. So we're kind of cap restraint at the moment. So in the re-sign phase, the only person we really went out and signed was Max Domi. We got him back for one year in a pretty cheap contract. So the first trade that I do want to make is shipping off Morgan Riley. We got a Stanley Cup with you, brother. But I mean, I want to go after Noah Hannafin here in free agency. Going after a very young D guy in Pavel Mintikov. One for one. Let's see. And the trade has been accepted by the Anaheim Ducks. We just straight up fleeced them. We did it. We saw. We conquered. Noah Hannafin was extremely happy to accept my offer. He is now a member of the Blue and White. We went out and got a depth forward. And Daniel Sprong signed him to a very cheap one-year deal to help uh, fill the void that was losing Patty Kane. Considering we're not going to get a scorer like him. But I'm doing the best I can here. 27 years old. Sniper. Should help out our forward core. Now, as we head into our second season with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Our first line, we still have a very good first line. Barbashev, Matthews, and Nylander. Matthews up to a 97 now, so he should have a career season. I'm actually going to be throwing Tom Wilson up there to get the plus five, the playmaker, sniper, power forward combo. 
And then we have Barbashev, Strom, and Yarncroc. Nice, who's up to an 84. I'll actually throw him up on the second line. And then we'll have Domi, Camped, and Yarncroc. Then our fourth line, I mean, it's not great, but it is what it is. Defensively, we are very good defensively. Hannafin, Theodore, Liljegren, McCabe, Wallman, and Dursey. The decor basically got upgraded over the offseason, so we should even be better defensively. And then we're pretty much going to rotate Logan Thompson and Joseph Wall through the regular season. As Thompson, I mean... He was a starter, but then look at his playoff stats through two games. A 740 save percentage. I don't think I've seen a goalie sim worse than he did in the first two games. He locked up Shea Theodore for four years at $9.7 million or 9.6. A pretty cheap contract considering the fact that he was asking for like a $10.2 million deal. I have no idea how I messed up this badly. Mintikov was literally scratched, but we throw him into our decor and now take a look at this. A plus four, plus five, and plus two. This is the best defensive core in the entire NHL. So because of the fact that we have a seventh defenseman that will not play all season long, I'm going to be trading Dursey to Seattle for Shane Wright. Also sweetening, sweetening, sweetening the deal with a second and a third round pick. And the trade has been accepted by the Seattle Kraken. Wow. So here we are at the trade deadline. And Minnesota only wants a first round pick for Joel Erickson Eck, who signed for five years at $5.4 million. So he's locked up long term. We also have the cap space to grab him. We got a first, a second, and a fourth round pick. Trade has been rejected. So we're going to have to sweeten the deal just a tad. I'll probably throw in a... A third rounder here to make this work. Let's see, will that go through? And the trade has been accepted by the Minnesota Wild organization as we are loading up, trying to go back to back. So after a very slow start, I mean, it could be a Stanley Cup hangover. Toronto's going to have a great season. 50 wins, 23 losses, 9 in overtime, 109 points at the top of our division and for the entire nhl we were a top four team so honestly i cannot really complain vancouver was up there 53 wins carolina oh my god edmonton won 64 games wow they took that stanley cup final loss personally they damn near scored four and a half goals per game on the season that is one of, if not the greatest hockey team of all time. That is insane. So take a look at the individual stats. Matthews, great season, 69 goals, 124 points. Nylander had 94 and 27 goals. Shea Theodore offensively has been absolutely dynamite. Uh, Tom Wilson has been good, 61 points. Barbashev, Shane Wright, finally breaking out at 21 years old, also locked up long-term. Erickson Eck was good. He was a minus 31, but a lot of that comes from Minnesota. He was only a minus seven on our team. And, I mean, he really took some time to fit in. Hopefully, he can produce in the playoffs. Uh, taking a look, Dylan Strom, he wasn't great. And if we take a look at our goalies, Joseph Wall did only play 30 games at a 914 save percentage, so we might have to move off of Logan Thompson, who has not been performing too great, to be honest. Now, Austin Matthews will lead the entire league in goal scoring with 69 and points with 124. Zach Hyman, another great season, 111 points. McDavid, he's simulating crazy. Gensel on Carolina was great. Bouchard, oh my God. Bouchard had 33 goals as a D-man. This would be a dream to take over that team. As speaking of goals, taking a look, 69 for Matthews, 55 for Hyman. 54 for Shorzy, so we know Shorzy's going to put up a lot of numbers. Kucherov had a good season, as well as Pasternak and Connor Bedard. And here we go, round number one on the quest to go back-to-back, -back, and we have the Battle of Ontario. It does not get any better than this. So, taking a look at the Senators roster, they still have Timmy Stu and Claude Giroux, who's 37, but plays like an 88 overall. Brady Kachuk's up at a 90. I think our first line's better. Uh, Batherson's okay. Honestly, we have a much, much better forward quarter defensively. I think we're also better with Mintikoff and as well as uh, Shea Theodore. They do have Jake Sanderson, who's an elite shutdown D-man. Chabot's there, but the rest isn't great. And Sogard in the net, so we're pretty similar goaltending-wise with an 85 and 84. So that is probably the equal point of this series but offensively and defensively i think we are a much better team after an absolute gong show ottawa with 43 shots and six goals and jacob chikorin scoring the game winner will take game number one in toronto saying a four goal second period and we are down in the third here i don't even know what we can do man there we go matthews gets one 32 shots they the ottawa centers there we go yarn crock oh my god please score toronto somebody come back come on we only got two goals two goals is nothing we can do that seven minutes to go 35 shots ottawa's just outplaying us man 
Through the first two games of this postseason, we have been thoroughly outplayed by the Ottawa Senators as they take a 2-0 series lead. The Ottawa Senators are straight up dominating Toronto right now. 6-3, Tom Wilson gets us back to within three, but I mean... I switched up the lines, I switched the goalies, and it does not even matter as they are scoring six goals a game. We're not going to beat them if they're going to put up six on our goalies. That's just insanely bad as they will go up 3-0 in the first round. Finally, the Toronto Maple Leafs have responded. A 4-0 lead in the third period, 5-0 lead. This game is pretty much over as we will save or stave off elimination, live to fight another day, beating Ottawa 5-2 in game number four. Okay, things are not looking too great here in game number five. Toronto down by two. We're going to have to have some miraculous comeback if we want to live to fight another day. 41 shots on net. We are just getting thoroughly outplayed. All right, so here we are. Game number five. Obviously, our season is on the line. We're down by two. Uh, call timeout. No, decline. Get that out of here. Uh, full four check for the uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs here. Nice save by Logan Thompson, and he's going to cover that puck up. All right, 5.23 to go. So we do got a little bit of time to work with, but it's going to go by really quick. We got to get on the offense. Here we go. Shea Theodore, move that puck up. Here we go. Matthew Nyes coming in. Nice Over. Wilson doesn't get a shot on net. God damn it, Tom Wilson, you plug. And Austin Matthews will take a two-minute tripping penalty. Are you kidding me right now, dude? The assistant captain, the best player on our team, just pretty much costed us any sort of comeback here in the third period. That is insane. A useless, lazy tripping penalty. I do not like that penalty whatsoever by Austin Matthews. Great save by Thompson. He'll cover the puck up. Yeah. I mean, never say never, but we're in a tough, tough situation right now. Shea Theodore moves it up to Barbashev. Up to Hannafin. Hannafin, skate down the line. Oh, my God, Hannafin, what are you doing? What are you doing? 3.55 to go. Why Why do I have penalty time scaling on full here? Why, why? Leaf fan cannot even stop the Toronto Maple Leafs from choking in, for, in the first round. We're the Stanley Cup champions. There we go. Barbashev, back to the point. We got to get a shot on net. Shot on net. Oh, my God, that tip. Shane Wright behind the net. Theodore in the middle. Hannafin shooting. Mm, nice block by the Ottawa Senators. 2.30 to go in the third period. Uh, the power, power play is almost up for uh, the Ottawa Senators. Hannafin, get it out. Uh, I want the first line on. We're going, oh, here we go. Matthews, make up for it. Matthews coming in. Austin, Matthews, back. Wilson, Theodore, what a save by Sogard. We have an empty net, extra attacker out there. First line, we are all good and ready. We got a first line decor as well. We called a timeout, so this is it. We're down by two. There's not a lot of time left in this game. We have to win it. 107 to go. Matthews, this has to be a face-off draw win, dude. I, there's no way if ands, or buts around it. There we go. Kachuk. There we go. Theodore to Erickson Eck. Behind the net. Matthews looking in front over Erickson Eck. What a save by Sogard in the middle again. Right back to the point. Oh my God. Sogard is keeping Ottawa in this game. We are straight up getting goalied here in game number five. Matthews loses the draw. 20 seconds to go. Empty net for Toronto. Are they going to put it in? Uh, and that's going to do it. That's pretty much going to do it. Empty netter for Claude Giroux. I have no idea how to explain this. We got a better team than last season. Defensively, offensively, the same goalies. But it does not matter. In the first round, the Toronto Maple Leafs are back to losing in the first round. As we got absolutely dominated by the Ottawa Senators. And that will do it. Ottawa will dominate Toronto in five games in the first round. As we will not go back to back. The defending Stanley Cup champions have a lot of offseason moves to do. To get back to where they were last season. The Tampa Bay Lightning will go on to defeat Dallas in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. To take home the Stanley Cup. Obviously we lost in the first round. We were not even close to going back to back. Now in the postseason. I mean Matthews was really the only decent player. But he did cost us that comeback in the third period. Three goals, seven points. Nylander had five. Tom Wilson four. I mean, Wallman. Wallman is what, our fourth leading scorer? If that dude is leading us in scoring or our fourth leading scorer, I mean, what are we doing here? This is just not great offensively. And then take a look at our goalies. Our goalies were absolutely horrible. No way it said Logan Thompson had a 917. Bro did not have a 917. No way in hell. Austin Matthews will take home the Ted Lindsay, Maurice Richard, our Austin Hart Trophy, Evan Bouchard, the Norris, the Con Smythe. We'll go to Brandon Hagel. Pekka Pasta to Vesna and the Selkie to Austin Matthews. All right, GM Pasta is fed up after seeing Matthews take that lazy and stupid 
stupid tripping penalty. He's on the trading block, but of course, he's only on the trading block for one person, for Connor McDavid from the Oilers. A nine-year deal for McDavid, so he makes less money. He signed longer and is a 99 overall. One for one, totally rejected. So I threw in a prospect and some draft picks to try to make this work, and the trade has been accepted from Edmonton. So we basically traded Austin Matthews for Connor McDavid. One for one as we now head into a brand new era in Toronto. And luckily we got back Matthew Nyes on a three year bridge deal for $6 million. So we're gonna offload Tom Wilson's contract to the Arizona Coyotes. I'm gonna try to get two first round picks or two second round picks I should say, but I don't think they're gonna go through with that. The trade has been rejected. So what about one second round pick? And there we go, we got the trade accepted. We got rid of Tom Wilson, shored up some cap space to sign some players. In the offseason, we re-signed Joseph Wall to a $2 million one-year contract. And let's see, Linus Allmark also was extremely happy to accept my deal. So we got a 90 overall starting goalie, which is a big improvement off of what we had already. Now, heading into year number three, we are rocking a much different team. McDavid down the middle, 99 overall in the prime of his career alongside William Nylander and Matthew Nyes. And then we have Erickson Eck, Wright, Barbashev, Brown, Strom, and Cowan. And then our fourth line isn't great defensively. We're still stacked Theodore and Mintikoff. We also have Hannafin alongside Liljegren. And then Zach Whitecloud and Jake Wallman. And in goal, a 90 overall Linus Allmark with an 84 backup in Joseph Wall. Now, since we do have the best player of all time on our team, Shea Theodore, I know this might sting, but you are getting demoted to an A. And Connor McDavid the brand new captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. So now a brand new era in Toronto. Let's see if we can go ahead and finally create that dynasty. There he is, the greatest, or not the greatest, but the best player of all time is now a member of the blue and white here in Toronto. That C looks nasty on him. So here we are at the trade deadline, 36, 24, and three, a pretty good season so far. And Adam Lowry is on the trading block. One year left, 86 overall. We're gonna give up some, uh, some second and second and third round picks to make this deal work trade has been rejected so we're not far off in value let me just add in two fourth rounders to try to sweeten the deal a little bit and there we go we picked up a much needed depth forward so heading into year number three toronto will end up winning 48 games losing 29 five in overtime second in our division only behind the lightning who are i mean no Stanley Cup hangover for them. 57 wins. We did have 101 points, and we would end up being a top five team in the entire league, followed by Vegas, who had 48 wins. The Rangers had 50. Edmonton was up there. They had a good season with Matthews. But, I mean, nobody was better than the Tampa Bay Lightning. Connor McDavid had a great season. 53 goals, 112 points. Nylander had 80 and 24. Shea Theodore putting up another 70-point season. Nyes finally broke out, had a great year. Shane Wright, I mean, 30 goals from Shane Wright at 22. I will literally take that. Everybody else chipped in. We had a very good offensive core. And there it is. Linus Allmark, 47 wins, 6 shutouts, and a 916 save percentage. He is 100% going to be our starter heading into the postseason. And there it is. Connor McDavid will lead the entire NHL in scoring with 112 points. Kucherov was up there with 105. Hyman had 99. Robertson had 97. Connor Bedard, 94. Evan Bouchard is playing like one of the best D-man of all time. And where is Austin Matthews? All the haters in the chat saying, don't trade Matthews. He simulates so well. Where is he at? I'm still going down here. Where is Austin Matthews? Oh my God, Matthews. Ma I'm just going to go to the goal side here. McDavid will also lead in goals with 53. So there's the bet for the dude in the chat saying compare the stats at the end of the season. Austin Matthews is nowhere to be found. Zach Hyman had more goals than him at 52. Bedard had 51. Kucherov was up there as well as Chris Kreider. Here is what I mean. We traded Austin Matthews. He only puts up 30 goals and 78 points on the Edmonton Oilers. Oh, Matthews, he sims so well in this game. Don't trade him. We absolutely fleeced the Edmonton Oilers. We traded for a guy who makes less, is better, and is signed longer than him. Andre Vasilevsky, holy hell, he will break the single season wins record for goalies with 50 but Linus Allmark he had 47 wins and also six shutouts I mean Pekka Pasta had nine and a 920 save percentage so he really dominated for goalies but Allmark was up there 
as in the first round of the postseason, Toronto is up against Le Montreal de Canadiens. This should be a very good series. Hopefully, what happened last season to Ottawa does not happen this year. Now, the Montreal Canadiens, three years in, have a very good first line. Caulfield, Suzuki, and Slavkovsky. That is very good, but I do think ours is better. Our second line, honestly, I would take over their second line. Third line, ours is better, and our fourth line definitely is better. Defensively, they do have Lane Hudson and David Reinbacker, who are good. I mean, they have three good defensemen, but outside of that, we're better. And in goal, we have the massive edge with Linus Allmark at a 90 overall. All right, so here we are in game number one, third period. Montreal, we're back in it, though. Joel Eriksson that gets us back to within one right off the rip. Another power play. There we go. William Nylander ties the game up, and Adam Lowry takes, oh my god, Easton Cowan as this third period barrage by Toronto. Four straight goals in the third. Now it's time, oh my god, five straight goals, Dylan Strome. The Toronto Maple Leafs, after being down 3-1 in this game, will score six straight and blow out the Montreal Canadiens in game number one. All right, so game number two, we do have the lead this time. Let's see if Linus Allmark can shut the door in the playoffs. We know Joseph Wall and both Logan Thompson have been pretty bad, but so far, so good. We got five minutes to go left in the third. Can the Toronto Maple Leafs go up 2-0 in the first round of the postseason, and they will get it done. The game is not over yet. We're down 5-2 in the third. Was 5-1. We know we scored, what was it, 6 in the third period of game number one, but I think Montreal might have this game. Yes, they do. 6-2 lead, and they will win it 6-3. A very good start to the game here. Game four, trying to go up 3-1 in the series and take a dominating lead. We're up by one. Can Linus Allmark shut the door yet again? Has he been proven as a playoff goaltender that can shut the door when it matters the most as the Toronto Maple Leafs will go up 3-1 over the Montreal Canadiens? We have the chance to eliminate Montreal. McDavid insurance marker 4-1 lead as the Montreal Canadiens, honestly, outside of that one game number one, and of course they came game three, they came really hard, pause, but... We were just by far the better team. 5-2 lead. It's not over yet, but I do feel pretty comfortable that we are now headed to the second round after dominating the Montreal Canadiens in five games. And in round number two, we have to face the defending champs, the 57-win team here in Tampa Bay. Also the team that was up 3-0 against us two years ago in the first round. This is going to be a very, very tough series. Now, taking a look at the Lightning, they are still really, really good. They got Braden Point, Kucherov, Hagel in that first line. Stammer is still there with uh, Sorelli and Jack Quinn. Their third and fourth lines aren't really the greatest depth. Maybe we got them there defensively. Hedman and Sergachev are still good, 88 and 89. Chernak's a good defender, but outside of that, they are hurting defensively. But in goal, they have a 94 overall Andre Vasilevsky. We have a 4-2 lead here in the third period. Can we lock it up twice already? Linus Almark has shut the door. But we're facing a much better team here in the Lightning. Can he do it again? 31 shots. We are outplaying Tampa Bay. A 4-2 lead for the Leafs. Five minutes to go. Come on, Toronto. Can we take a 1-0 series lead? Can we win game number one? And we are going to get the job done and go 1-0 in the series. So far, so good in game number two. Can we steal home ice advantage? Steal the first two games in Tampa Bay. We got a 2-1 lead. This is a much tighter game. We need Linus Allmark to shut the door here. We got 35 shots on net. There we go. Easton Cowan gives us the insurance marker four minutes three minutes come on and we are going to take a two nothing series lead over the 57 win tampa bay lightning so after timothy Liljegren scores three goals in the first period we have a 3-1 lead we now have a 4-3 lead in the third period oh no headman ties it up lena Salmark did not shut the door uh oh trying to oh no Braden point takes the lead here in toronto Seven seconds to go. We need some offense. There we go. Eric Sinek ties the game up at five apiece. We got a gong show here in game number three. We have an absolute gong show. All right, here we are. Game number three. Game is tied up at five apiece. Trying to go up 3-0 in the series. Nylander. Find McDavid. Oh, there it is. Theodore coming in. What a great save by Vasilevsky. Massive draw from McDavid. Can we win it? No. Braden Point is going to skate it out. Okay. Kucherov coming down. In the middle, no, what a great save by Linus Allmark. Nice, up to Nyes, McDavid. McDavid has all the room to work with here. Connor coming in, Connor. 
Connor McDavid does a stride deep, but it did not work out. Braden Point. We got 17 minutes to go in overtime. Great save. I'm going to make this uh, full pressure. I want all the offense in the world. Let's go. Who's that? Who's 35? In the middle, McDavid. Why? Why is Connor doing that? Why is Connor McDavid doing an unnecessary deke like that? Kucherov going to skate it out. Do we make a change? No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. Who's going? McDavid, do not go to the bench there. Help him out, Nylander. Move that up. There we go. Connor. Delayed penalty. Empty net. We're headed to the power play. Mitikoff over McDavid. Great save from Vassy. Back to the point again, McDavid. Back to Theodore. Theodore shooting. Rebound is there, but we are headed to the PP. All right, why do we have our second power play out there to start the overtime? Okay, maybe coach knows something. I don't. Nice face-off win. Wallman doesn't get a shot on that Strom. What are you doing, Strom? Okay, get PP number one out there. Get a change in. We got the puck. We got time here. There we go. Get McDavid. Get Nylander out there. We got to get it. Oh, here we go. McDavid. Three on one. Nylander. Oh, what a save by Vassy. Beyond the net, back to the point. Shoot it, somebody please get it on net. Shane Wright, back to the point. Hannafin, blasted! He's got no energy. He's got no energy. We gotta get a shot on net. We need a shot on net. Rebound! Shane Wright in the middle. McDavid! Come on, Nylander! No, with that puck battle, Nylander! We're back to five on five. We had full pressure and everything, dude. Vassy still has no energy. Come on, Toronto. Get a shot on net. What are we doing? Hagel, no, 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 no. Hagel coming in. Good D by Nylander. Nylander finally playing defense. McDavid is, is dead off his energy. In the middle, right. Rebound, Hannafin. How, Hannafin, how did you not get that rebound, dude? Andre Vasilevsky standing on his head right now. Oh, no. Everybody's tired. Point coming down. Uh, he's back to the point. Chernak in the middle. Nice. Thank the good Lord. We got seven minutes to go in overtime. Big face-off win. We lose it. No, no. Go, go. Barbashev. You're gone. Ivan Barbashev moves it up to Mintikov. Havel Mintikov in the middle. Shane Wright. What a save. Right. Get out of the net, dude. What are you doing? Barbashev over right backhander. And another great save from Vassy. Literally standing on his head to keep the Tampa Bay Lightning in this game. If not, we probably have the OT winner. Oh, no. Headman. And Victor Hedman will score the OT winner as Tampa Bay wins their first game of the entire series. In the third period of game number four, have a 2-1 lead. We got to shut the door, man. We got to shut it. Come on, somebody. Not shut the door. We got to get back in this game. What am I saying? Come on. No, Braden Point. No. This is reminding me of year number one. A 3-1 lead as the away team has won every single game of this series so far. We have a tie game. Never mind. Brandon Hagel scores right away on Linus Allmark. There we go. Liljegren ties it up. I put him on the top D pair for a reason. Come on. No, kill it off. Kill it off. There we go. Shane Wright. Oh, my God. Hepatimi, whatever the hell his name is, 6-4 lead for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Can we hold on? Linus Allmark. No, Linus Allmark. You're letting Phillips score on you, dude. Five minutes to go in the third period. I need you to shut the goddamn door. Three minutes, two minutes. Are we headed back to Toronto? We are headed back to the six with a 3-2 series lead over the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Toronto Maple Leafs are now 20 minutes away. Oh, my God. Shea Theodore, a 5-1 lead. We are headed back. Oh, no, not yet. Brandon Hagel scores. We're 15 minutes away of being back in the conference finals. The Rangers are waiting for us. Can we do it? Well, I traded Matthews for McDavid, and so far, so good, as the Toronto Maple Leafs have slayed the 57-win Tampa Bay Lightning in six games in round number two. And here we go. In the conference finals, we got the Rangers, Toronto, Edmonton, and St. Louis. So we might have to play the Oilers again, even after after trading both of the team's best players that would be absolute cinema now taking a look at the rangers they have a pretty good first line lafreniere is only 85 alongside zivinajad and breadman then have Kreider, trocek and perot not really the greatest second line the third and fourth lines outside of capo caco aren't great either i think we have them beat offensively defensively a 95 adam fox he could be the absolute difference maker they also have lindgren with miller and truba so those are two or three great d-man and then schneider and jones we have them beat in the top six but I mean, Adam Fox could make up for that. And then in goal, a 93 overall, Igor Shesterkin. And in nine games in the postseason, Igor has a 953 save percentage with a 146 GAA. Also, two shutouts in nine games. We have a tie game here heading into the third of game number one. This could be a low scoring series. White Cloud gives us the lead, though. 31 shots on net. Igor stopping literally everything, dude. A 950 save percentage. It could be a very low scoring series here in the conference finals. Five minutes to go. Lena Salmark, shut the door. Please, for the love of God, shut the door. 
as the Toronto Maple Leafs will take a 1-0 series lead. All right, we got some work to do in this third period. Down by two. There we go. Wallman gets us back to within one. A Ranger score right away. So another two-goal lead we got to overcome. There we go. Connor McDavid. Captain Connor. Come on. Somebody else on Toronto step up. Nylander, you have been quiet for a little bit. Please come back in this game. We're only down by one. This is in reach. We can do this. Two minutes to go. And it looks like the Rangers will tie up the series at one apiece. Toronto Maple Leafs need to hold on to this lead in the third period. Linus Allmark, shut the door, brother. In, in Toronto, game three, the place is rocking. We got a lot of suits in the building. And we got five minutes to go. No, Matt Rempe, you let Rempe score? Oh, my God. Vinny Trocek ties the game up. Toronto is Toronto is folding in the final minutes of this game. All right, so we are absolutely falling apart here in the third period. We are shortening the bench. Do not call a timeout. Full pressure. We got to get we got to get a goal here. We're down by one. Luckily, a 3-2 lead in the middle. What a save by Igor. Rebound. Oh, McDavid. How did Connor not put that home? Game number three. Lugan. McDavid. Full pressure. No, we needed a face off there. McDavid again. Hard on the four check. That is the best player of all. Why? I have full four check on and nobody is pressuring. Oh my god. The Rangers are just killing time they are just literally killing time there's nothing we can do about it nice hit let's go come on first line out there first line first d shea theodore lead the rush brother oh my god we went offside are you kidding me a power play somehow we were leading two nothing in this game and then i believe three one no two one two nothing and then they scored three straight 21 seconds ago i should have pulled my goalie i'm pulling my goalie don't care nice behind the net nice looking out in front hannafin wallman Ericsson, what a save by Igor again. Oh, Ericsson, over. Oh my God, Wallman back. Can we get a shot on that? Nice rebound. There's a rebound. Put it in. No. Four seconds to go, and the Rangers will take a 2 1 series lead in the conference finals. So the Toronto Maple Leafs, oh, again, Perot scores right away. We're not going to go blow back to back games. Are we? Oh, power play. No, power play for the Rangers. We kill it off. Linus Allmark, we can't. We cannot do it, brother. A 3 2 lead. McDavid, somebody give us an insurance marker here. Make me feel safe. Five minutes to go in the third period. There we go. Ivan Barbashev gives us the insurance marker, and we will tie the series up at two apiece. The Toronto Maple Leafs back to within one. Nice. Gave us some, some hope here. There we go. Wallman ties it up. I was going to say, we have not been playing well whatsoever. We have all the momentum in the world. Please, Toronto, take the lead here. Connor McDavid, I need you to strike. Five minutes to go in the third. Vinny Trocek, no! How? Four minutes. All right, yet again, same situation. I'm not calling a timeout, but I do want full pressure for our squad here. As we are trying to come in. Nice. What a shot. What a save by Igor. Uh, Liljegren over to Theodore. Turns it over. In the middle. Strom. That was a floaty little backhander. Strom walked that out. In the middle. Theodore doesn't get a shot on net. We're only down by one. Barbashev back to Liljegren. Back to Theodore. Over. Barbashev. Another great save, man. Igor is tough to beat. I can't even lie. Strom. Dylan Strom. There it is. Tie game. Dylan Strom walks in and beats Igor Shosturkin. There we go. We tie the game up. We were down and out of this game. Sixth of the playoff run for Mr. Strom. And I mean, he just went by Miller and just absolutely sniped that thing. All right, 115 to go in the third period. Can we maybe break the tiebreaker here in the third before we even reach overtime? Regardless, do not give one up here. Lilligren. Move the puck up. Come on. No. Nylander is offside. 28 seconds to go. McDavid loses the drop to Adam Fox. Fox coming down to Lafreniere. Laffy Taffy. No, no, no. Back to right. No. Horrible turnover by Shane Wright. Absolutely horrible. We got 18 seconds to go. Help him out. Right. Moves it up to McDavid. Skate. McDavid, please. Connor coming in. Connor uh, behind the net. Nylander to right. Uh, Shane Wright. Back to the point. Back to Nylander. I wanted Nylander to shoot that. What a save by Igor. Maybe I should have pulled the goalie with only 4.3. McDavid win that back. Come on, Connor. Nice. Over. Right in the middle. What a save by Igor Shosturkin. All right. So here we go. Overtime game five. The series tied up at two apiece. The game tied up at four apiece. Actually, five apiece. My bad. And this. Oh, no. Zabinajad. Oh, no. Zabinajad. Back to Lundgren. Back to Laffy. Get it out. Get it out. There we go. Up to Nylander. Come on. Willie Knee. Willie Knee. There we go. Draw the penalty. All right. We're headed to the power play. Nylander coming in again. Nylander uh, gets bodied and we are headed to the PP. All right. This is a massive draw. We got PP number two out there again. Why? Why? Why can we not have my first power play? Oh, no. Adam Fox. Horrible trade. Not horrible change. Capo. Oh, my God. Get it out, Wallman. Move it up. Move it up. Nylander. Move the puck up. Nylander. Nyl okay. Skate it. Skate it. Willie Knee. Over to McDavid. Over. Right. Great save by Igor. 
Back to the point. Great glove save again by Shesterkin. All right, we got PP number one out there. Only 36 seconds to work with. We need this draw, McDavid. We need the draw. Nylander back to uh, nice. Nylander down low to McDavid. Davo walking out. Davo, what a save by Igor. Nylander behind the net. Out in front. Shane Wright, that's your puck. Over. Nylander ripping it. Rebound. Shane Wright scores the overtime winner. And Toronto will take a 3-2 series lead in the conference finals and be one win away from heading back to the Stanley Cup Finals. I put right on that first line and it literally paid dividends. It's only fitting third period tie game, all tied up at two apiece. Toronto trying to head back to the finals. Willie Nee gives us the tiebreaker. Also gives us the lead in the third period. Linus Allmark, I need you to shut the door, dude. I need you. We got final eight minutes left in the third. Can the Toronto Maple Leafs hold on? Four minutes left, three. Will the Leafs head back to the cup final? We are headed back to face the Edmonton Oilers yet again. And there it is for the second time in this video, we will be facing the Edmonton Oilers in the finals. A lot of history between these two teams. Obviously two years ago, we beat them in what? Five games, I believe. And then after the end of last season, we traded our best player in Austin Matthews for their best player in Connor McDavid. So this is absolute peak cinema. Let's see if Toronto can go on and win their second Stanley Cup of the GM Pasta era. Toronto in game one in Edmonton. Edmonton again has home ice advantage. They will tie the game up. Namila all tied up at three apiece. No, Zach Hyman is going to take the lead for the Oilers. Come on. There we go. Connor McDavid steps up and scores on Pekka Pasta. Nine minutes to go. What a back and forth game, but also a very close game. Five minutes to go in the third. Come on, Toronto. Nylander, somebody step up. Come on. All right, game one of the Stanley Cup Finals, and we have overtime. All knotted up at four apiece, I believe, here in Edmonton. As, I mean, two years ago when we won the Stanley Cup, we did not have home ice advantage either. McDavid getting board played at the uh, Edmonton Oilers bench. Back to Nylander. We got full pressure. No, we do not have full pressure. I have full attack, though, for our strategies. Oh, nice step up by Lilligren. Oh, no. Matthews coming in. No, do not have Matthews score the overtime winner. Lilligren on the break. Gets bodied. Stick with it. Nylander, that's your puck. Nylander in the middle. Great save. Oh, my God. Pekka pass. They have that. I didn't check out the roster. My bad. I completely forgot to check out the Oilers roster. We're pretty familiar, though. Oh, no. In the middle. Nurse Matthews. What a save by Linus Allmark. All right. So far, back and forth overtime. We got our set. Oh, no. Nursey, do not let Darnell score. Lavoie behind the net. Raphael Lavoie up to Nurse. Nice four check. Nice Strom. Go. Nice and Strom. Nice. Over to Strom. Uh, shoot it on net. Doesn't get it on net. Does not even get a shot on net. We got three guys deep. That's not good. Nuge skates the puck out. Nugent Hopkins. Nice. Come on. Four check him. Back check. We need we need some pressure on the puck carrier. What are we doing? Eric Sinek. Eric Sinek. Get it in. Get it in. Nice. And that is going to be offside. All right. Halfway through the overtime period. We got our second line out. Nobody's going to the puck carrier. Of course. Hannafin. Moves it up to Nyes. Uh, maybe go for a change. Get that first line back out there. Nyes. Nice shot on net. I told him to shoot that. 11 to go in overtime. We got McDavid. We got Nylander. We got Shane right out there. The big guns. Lavoie. Holding it in goal. McDavid. Win that puck battle. McDavid. You're faster. There's no way Lavoie should beat Connor McDavid to a foot race. That's insane. McDavid. Over to Mintikoff. Over to Hannafin. Keep it in. Keep it in. No. Oh, keep that in, Mintikoff. Come on, no, no, Nylander. Nylander gets bodied a little bit. He has no energy, which is not good. Right. Steals a counter attack by Shane Wright. Sugar Shane Wright in the middle. Oh, that was a dangerous ass shot by McDavid. That had to got through. He might have scored that. Oh, no. Amelia. Coming in, Amelia. He's looking. He's looking in the middle. Nice D. Nice D by White Cloud. Get it up, White Cloud. Up to Shane Wright. Block shot. Back to the point. Back to the point. Get it on net. On net. Rebound is there. Right. Shoot. Shane Wright. Why did you not shoot the puck? Becca Pasta was down, dude. Why did he not shoot that? Oh, no. Broberg offside. Ooh, 4-16 to go in overtime. Who do we have? We have our second line out there right now. Barbershev over to Lowry. Third line, Lowry. Lowry, get, turn it over. Lowry in the middle. Man, the passing just isn't there by the computers. Three minutes to go. No, we take a penalty. Are you kidding me? All right, this is a massive kill here for the, uh, I was going to say the Edmonton Oilers, but the Toronto Maple Leafs, Theodore. Up to Shane Wright. Gets bodied at the blue line by Austin Matthews. Okay, brother. All right, so we got an offensive zone draw here on the PK. If we can win it back, I might be able to get a shot. No, we lose the draw to uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Up to Hyman. Zachary Effen Hyman. Literally one of the best players of all time in this universe. Multiple 50-goal man. 
The dude has been absolutely electric in this sim. 120 to go. All right. 25 seconds left on the PK. Can we can we hold it off? Dry settle over to Bouchard. Great save by Allmark. Oh no, no Nuge, Nuge. Another great save. Cover that Allmark. We kill off the penalty. 27 seconds to go. We got a timeout. We got the, gu the big guns out there. Nice. McDavid wins that drop. Perfect. He probably doesn't win it. If I did not call a timeout, here we go. Right in the middle, McDavid. McDavid, wristing on net. There's a rebound. There's a rebound. Nylander put it in. There it is. No way they're going to call that no goal. Willie Knee put it in. McDavid shooting. There's a rebound. There's no way. Goalie interference. Get out of here. He literally sprawled out. There's no way that's goalie interference. He put it in his own net. He put a peck of pass to put it in his own net. And it's no goal. Oh, my God. It was no goal. All right. The refs are screwing us here in Edmonton. They have them on their payroll. McDavid loses the draw. Not good. 16 seconds to go. That was it. That was it. That was not goaltender interference. No way. No world was that goaltender interference. But it doesn't matter. Matthews coming down in the middle. Hyman. What is? Oh, my God. Linus Allmark. What are you doing? All right. Second overtime here in game one of the Stanley Cup Finals. This has been a very, very long game. Well, we hopped in. Oh, McDavid. Nice. There we go. Head to the bench, Allmark. Head to the bench, buddy. There we go. Where's uh, Shane Wright going? Move it up, McDavid. Up to Shane Wright. Over to McDavid. Shooting. Great save by Pekka Pasta. Down low, Wallman. Back to the point. Right. Over to Theodore. Right. Down low, Wallman. Great save again by Pekka Pasta. And we are headed to the PP. Knee laner. Knee laner. Knee laner. Ah, come on. No. Keep it in. And we're back to five on five. Oh, no. McLeod. Ryan McLeod. McDavid's on his ass. He is on his ass in the middle. That was, oh, go right. Shane Wright on the breakaway. Shane, uh, no, why would he pass? Why would he pass that? Uh, Mintikoff, no, Mintikoff, what are you doing? Nugent Hopkins in the middle of law. Oh, what a back and forth game. This is literally taking years off my life. Mintikoff up to Nylander, up to Strom. Strom over the Theodore. Eric Sinek, uh, shoot it on net. Get a shot on net. Nylander behind the net. You're first on that. Help him out, centerman. Help him out. Where's the center? Back and forth hockey. Wallman over. Strom. Strom. What a save by Pekka Basta. How on earth did he make that save, dude? Why? Three straight rounds of running into absolutely the best goaltenders in the world. Insane. First it was Vasi, then Igor, and now Pekka Pasta. I just have to face the greatest goalies ever. Just back and forth hockey, but I mean... Four minutes to go. We haven't had a whistle in a long ass time. Matthews coming down. Tummy ache. What a shot, but he missed the net. Oh, here we go. Barbashev in the middle. Barbashev. Give it to him. Give it to him. Cowan. Can somebody snipe it on Pekka Pasta? He has no energy. Get her. I don't want to. I don't want to line change right now. Mintikoff, get it out. Uh, move that up. We'll get a change. Get a change. No, no, no. Lowry. There we go. Good change. McDavid. Fresh legs. We got fresh legs. Over. Right. Shooting. What a shot by right. Back to the point on net. Just get all, just pepper him. Pepper Pekka Pasta with the puck. We got to do that. That's that's a tongue twister. Say that five times fast. Bro. Oh, no, bro. Oh, no. Oh, he's waiting. He's waiting. He's looking. Holloway. Holloway up to Nylander. Here we go. Counter attack. 17 seconds to go. Nylander. Nylander. Rebound. Oh, my God. The luck. The absolute luck that that puck does not go in the back of the net. And here we are, triple overtime in game number one of the Stanley Cup Finals. Dear God, to get this game over with. I'm literally over. We still got a full series. We got up to a seven, six more games we could have here. Hyman coming in. Zach in the middle. Dry subtle. What a backhander, but it did not did not hit the net. Come on, Theodore. Move the puck up. Can we just score? Somebody put put the puck in the back of the net. McDavid, step up. Nylander. Somebody's got to be Pekka Pasta here. This is going to be the series. We really have no hope. Come on. No horrible turnover. Dry. Over to Lavoie. Lavoie. And Raphael Lavoie will take the game one overtime winner as the Oilers go up 1-0 in the series in triple OT. And we are trailing in game number two, heading into the third. Down by one, two to one. So we're not out of it. Maybe McDavid, Nylander, Shane Wright, one of the big guns. Step up, please. Tie the game up. There we go. Captain Connor and Mintikoff will take the lead. Here we go. Linus Allmark, you need to shut the door. It has to. Oh, my God. Nylander, this team is amazing. This team is a thing of destiny as we will tie up the series at one apiece. The Toronto Maple Leafs. 2-1 lead in the third. It's not over yet. We got to shut the door here. An insurance marker would be nice. If somebody wants to get that third goal, that would be massive for this game. If not, Linus Allmark. 
I need you to do it, brother. 5-4 power play. There we go. Dylan Strom, insurance marker. Five minutes left in the third of game number three. Can we go up to one in the series? Come on, Toronto. The Toronto Maple Leafs win back-to-back -back games and take a 2-1 series lead. Heading into the third of game number four, Toronto's down by one. Can we have a comeback in us here? Or will the Oilers tie the series up at two apiece? Come on, Toronto. We need somebody to tie this game up, please. Somebody from our heavily offense. There it is, Wallman. No, Evander Kane takes the lead right away. Five minutes left in the third of game number four. Are the Edmonton Oilers going to do it? They will tie the series up at two apiece. All right, 2-2 two -two tie in the series, and we have a 1-1 one -one tie in game number five. No, Nugent Hopkins takes the lead for the Oilers in Edmonton. There we go. Nylander, a two-goal game, steps up when we need him the most. Wallman. Jacob, is it Jake Wallman? I think it's Jake Wallman. I don't care. Seven minutes to go in the third period. Please, Toronto, shut the door. Linus Allmark, I believe in you. No, I, as soon as I said I believed in you, you gave up a goal. All right, here we are back again in overtime. This time in game number five, the winner of this game will take a 3-2 series lead and our one win away from winning the Stanley Cup. McDavid, here we go. Come on, Toronto, please. Up to Nylander, Willie Knee. No, horrible turnover from the two-goal man and William Nylander. Hyman. Great save by Allmark. This is a, uh, a big draw on our own end. Come on. No, Nurse. Go. Go, Liljegren. Go. Timothy Liljegren. Come on. We need somebody to cook here. Liljegren. Over. Nylander trying to go for the hat trick on Pekka Pasta. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit worried right now. Theodore moves it up. No, no wingers there. The winger is not there. But come on. Come on. Please get the puck back. Come on. We lost our last overtime. I sat through three overtime periods just to lose. We cannot beat Pekka Pasta in the real-time game. Up to Theodore. Shea Theodore over Connor. McDavid. Rebound. Willie Knee trying for the hat trick. Couldn't get it to go. Matthews. Austin Matthews. Oh, no. Oh, no. In the middle. Bouchard. Rebound. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. There we go. Up to Erickson Eck. Erickson Eck. You got time. You have time. This is the biggest power play of the season. We got PP1 out there. McDavid to Theodore. Right off the draw, please. Come on. We got to win it. We got to win it. No, Mitchell. No. Tulio skates it out, and that's going to kill a lot of time. Ryan McLeod, no, no, Tulio, no. Get it out, get it out, Theodore. Move it up. There we go. Kneelander, Willie Knee. Lee. Can he go for the hat trick? Over to Shane Wright. Trying to blast the clap bomb. Why Why? why is he doing that? I have no idea. Oh, Kneelander, Kneelander over Theodore to Kneelander. Kneelander between the legs. Doesn't get it to go. Oh, my God. 9.50 to go. Willie Knee nee almost had the hat trick and the game winner. Come on, McDavid. Back, back. Mintikoff, why? I told Mintikoff to shoot that, and he passed it, and then he goes offside. All right, we're back to five on five now. We could not get a goal on that power play. God damn it, man. I told uh, Mintikoff to shoot it, and he decided to uh, to pass it instead. Oh, no, Matthews. No, do not let Matthews score the OT winner. No, no, Nurse. Darnell Nurse will score the overtime winner as the Edmonton Oilers will take a 3-2 series lead. Well, we, we are not made of anything, as the Toronto Maple Leafs are... Uh, Getting dominated in game five or game six. Stanley Cup in the building, season on the line, 6-3 lead. It doesn't matter. We're not We're not coming back. We, we sold this game when it was fucking 2-0 after the first period. As the Edmonton Oilers will go on and win the Stanley Cup. Now in the postseason, McDavid was our best player. 15 goals, 37 points. Nylander had 27. Shane Wright. I mean, he was very good. Shea Theodore was good. Dylan Strom. And, I mean, Linus Allmark was okay at 9.06. That was a 9.09 before the final game. We got blown out by the Edmonton Oilers in Game 6. As, I mean, McDavid did outperform Matthews. Matthews only had seven goals in the postseason. So, McDavid was the right trade to make. Leon Dreisaitl was that difference maker, though, at a 98 overall. Zach Hyman is going to take home the Ted Lindsay and Hart Trophy. The Art Ross and Maurice Richard will go to McDavid. The Norris to Evan Bouchard. Shard. Con Smythe will go to Tummy Ache Matthews. I mean, how? Dry Settle was literally miles ahead of him in the postseason. Pekka pass to the Vesna and the Selkie will go to Sasha Barkov. And luckily, we locked up Mintikov for a long term six year deal at 6.9 mil. Instead, I'm going to go after a young guy in Joe Aginla from the Bruins. He's a right winger. We really don't have any prospects because we traded away all of our first round picks here in the early seasons, but I gave a lot of draft picks back for Boston. Hopefully, they will accept, and they have. 
So now we have a prospect that can come up in the future and hopefully be a top six forward. Next on the agenda is going after an actual D-man. Gustafson makes four mil, but they're going to retain some money for some draft picks. And Luke Shen and the Detroit Red Wings happily accepted my offer. Now heading into next season, we still have Nyes, McDavid, and Nylander on that first line. Nylander's kind of capped off at a 93, although McDavid is a 99. We got Wright, who hasn't grown really that much. He's still an 85 alongside Barbashev and Easton Cowan. Then we have Strone, Erickson Eck, and Trevberg. And our fourth line isn't great, but defensively, we did get a little worse. Just a tad bit. I upgraded a little bit in the offseason. Mintikoff, Theodore. Theodore now being a 91 overall. We still have Liljegren. Then we picked up Eric Gustav and then finally we have Noah Hannafin and Zach Whitecloud and an 87 overall Linus Allmark getting worse as he is aging 33 years old but Dennis Hildeby 25 years old could be our starting goalie by next season so far pretty good 34 24 and 6 but I mean Linus Allmark despite the fact he's actually doing very good I do not like the idea of my starting goalie walking to UFA he's a UFA at the end of the season I would like to give him up a first and a couple other picks for UC Saros. Only 31 years old, locked up long-term as well, and is a better goalie than Linus Allmark is. Here we go. Trade has been rejected. Okay. All right, so as usual, my team just absolutely tanks after the season. We actually were in second place at the trade deadline, and once that after that hit, we literally fell off a cliff like usual. I mean, EA Sports has to bring me down somehow. 43 wins, 31 losses, 8 in overtime, 94 points. But I guess the goddamn Tampa Bay Lightning literally have the uh, the edge over us as the Red Wings will win 48 games and get into the postseason. That is crazy. Look at this. Calgary, Colorado, Anaheim, Arizona all made the postseason and they were behind us in the NHL standings. We had more points than them. McDavid was our best player. 56 goals, 116 points. Nylander had a good year. Only 30 goals, though. Shea Theodore has been producing pretty much every single season. Nyes was okay, I guess. I mean, out of a nine or out of a 90 overall, yeah, I would expect more than 56 points and also 22 goals. Strom wasn't good. Mintikoff or Shane Wright and if we take a look at Linus Allmark he did his job 39 wins four shutouts and a 919 save percentage Connor McDavid would end up leading the entire league in goal scoring with 56 and also points with 116 the Edmonton Oilers will go on and go back to back winning another Stanley Cup as they defeated the Rangers in six games in the finals that is three cup finals they have made in the first four seasons and now they have won two of them McDavid will take home all the major individual awards. Adam Fox, the Norris, the Calder will go to Crystal Matthews will somehow win the Conn Smythe. Pekka Pass to the Vesna, and the Selkie will go to Alexander Barkov. All right, so I think this needs to be done. William Nylander, we have to go out. We need to get a sniper, and we also need to get a better goalie as we're probably going to lose uh, Linus Allmark in free agency. Jesper Wallstedt, 91 overall, only 24 years old. Minnesota already has a franchise goalie that's like 19 years old at 80 overall. So I'm also going to be picking him up. I'll pick Johansson and Joseph for a first, fifth, and a third round pick. Also, William Nylander. Can this trade go through? And the Minnesota Wild has accepted. They do not believe they came out on the short end of the stick. I know Nylander was an important piece of this roster. But we needed to make a change. We literally missed the postseason. All right, I'm still searching for that sniper, and Tage Thompson is that guy. I have no idea. I'm, a, I'm honestly a little bit lowballing the Buffalo Sabres here with a second, fourth, and a fifth. Let's see. Trade rejected. They are totally unwilling. We're going to have to give up a little more value than that. I think we will throw in the prospect that we didn't even sign yet into the deal, considering we are competing for Stanley Cups right now. Let's see. Buffalo, please accept my offer. Totally unwilling. We gave up the exact same package we did for Buffalo, but instead for Igor Sharangovich from the Calgary Flames. And we went ahead and picked up that sniper that we definitely needed. So as we head into year number four, this is what our lines currently look like. We're rocking the power forward playmaker sniper combo on the first line with Sharangovich, McDavid, and Nyes. And then we have Strom alongside Shane Wright, who actually grew to an 86. And we have Marcus Johansson up there just for the plus four. And I threw Eric Sinek in the third line with Trev Berg and Barbashev. And then we have Cowan alongside our Louis Boulen, our draft pick this year, already made the roster. And then Atu Ratu down the middle defensively. Pretty much the same decor outside of Nate Schmidt, who I might end up upgrading some point throughout the season. And then in goal, we have a 91 overall. 
24-year-old goaltender who has franchise medium potential in Jesper Wallstad and an 85 backup, which is very, very good. All right. I mean, we are only very early on in the regular season, and we are dead last in the Atlantic, 8-12-2. Eric Sinek literally has eight points in 22 games at an 85 overall, so we are getting rid of him, throwing in some draft compensation for a prospect, Barrett Hayton, Nick Paul, and another guy that we can throw into our forward court to make it better. And Anaheim is totally unwilling. So we're probably going to have to remove somebody. We will get rid of the other scoring forward and instead leave in that prospect because I know he can grow with top six medium potential. Let's see. The trade has been accepted from the Anaheim Ducks. So we made a move that we desperately needed to make because we are struggling. Now at the trade deadline, I'm trying to go all in and at least make the postseason for Andre Kuzmenko, who does need to be, be uh, re-signed, but for Easton Cowan, I think it's a pretty fair trade. He also needs to be re-signed. I also threw in some draft picks to try to even out the trade value, and the trade has been rejected. So thankfully, at the end of the year, Toronto did make the postseason. 43 wins, 34 losses, 5 in overtime, 91 points. I guess our division was just not as good as it was last season. We were way down at the bottom of the league before I made that trade. So thankfully, I did do that. Now at the top of the league, I mean, the Oilers are dominating. 57, 18, and 7. They got like a 94 overall Zach Hyman with a 97 overall goalie. So they are just an absolutely loaded team. McDavid will have another great season. Season 49 goals, 119 points. Nice again, didn't simulate great for a 90 overall. Shane Wright actually had a good season, 27 goals and uh, 67 points. Shea Theodore was up there. A little bit of a step back than usual. Sharangovic had 27 goals. That's exactly why I brought him into here. And Jesper Wallstadt, three shutouts, a 907 save percentage and 34 wins. I mean, he got us to the postseason, but he allowed three goals against per game at a 91 overall. Yet again, McDavid will lead all skaters in scoring with 119 points. Dry Settle had 103. Celebrini had 97 at 21 years old. Bouchard, another player that Edmonton has. They're just literally, literally an OP team. Matthews finally had a good season, but... He's not as good as McDavid, clearly. Brock Besser was good. Pedersen, McKinnon, not McKinnon, Kale McCarr. On the goal side, Matthew Mishkoff will lead with 51 tucks on the season. Right behind him would be Connor McDavid with 49. Now in the first round of the postseason, we have to play the Florida Panthers. So five years in, Florida still has Kachuk, Barkov, and Verhage. That is a very lethal first line. They also have Shane, or Shane, Sam Reinhardt alongside Lundell and Malacaster. Yeah, they got a great top six. Their bottom six isn't anything crazy. Uh, defensively, they are pretty good. Jones alongside Ekblad and Forsling. I think we are better defensively. And in goal, we beat them by a mile. An 81 overall goalie, no way should he simulate that well in this series. We should absolutely feast on Thomas Millick. So let's see if we can shut it down here in game number one of the postseason. Up 2 nothing over Florida. Again, we don't have home ice advantage. We really have never had it throughout any of our playoff runs. They're going to get one. Matthew Kachuk gets the Panthers back to within one. No, Jesper Wallstadt, shut the fucking door. All right, so here we go. We have overtime in game number one. We were up 2-0 in the third period it, with like five minutes to go, and we honestly blew it, which is a little concerning. Here we go, Nyes coming in. Matthew Nyes over. Mc McDavid can't even pick it up. The best player in the world and the best player of all time can't pick up a simple fucking pass. I am heated. I'm not going to lie. I've been sitting here for an hour. We missed the playoffs last year. Somehow, some way, and now we're struggling again. Oh, no. Verhage over. And there it is. The Florida Panthers will complete the comeback and take game number one. Matthew Nyes will take the lead here in the third period of game number two. There we go. Shane Wright. Come on, boys. The, uh, Thomas Millick is literally an 81 overall goalie. We should be scoring easily five goals per game on this guy. There we go. Timothy Liljegren as the Toronto Maple Leafs will tie the series up at one apiece. I love when our team performs up to standard. I mean, three goals before the third period starts. That's how we do, baby. On an 81 overall goalie, that is what should be happening. 3-1 lead. Come on now. Jesper Wallstadt. Linus Allmark was okay. He was pretty good at shutting the door. You already blew a lead in game number one, but thankfully... You will lock in here in game three, and the Leafs will take a 2-1 series lead. Pretty much choked away the 3-1 lead as we did not show up in game number four. I'm just going to simulate it. A 6-4 hockey game, so Mintikoff and McDavid scored, but we are headed back to Florida, all tied up at two. I literally cannot believe this Toronto Maple Leaf squad. A 3-0 lead 
In the third period as the Panthers looking to take a 3-2 series lead in the series in round number one, Dylan Strome will get one. It might be too little too late. Come on, Barkov scores, and that is going to do it. The Toronto Maple Leafs are now on the verge of a getting eliminated in the first round of the postseason. And in typical Toronto Maple Leaf fashion, I mean, McDavid gets one, but fuck. We're down 4-1 in the third period. Backs against the wall. Season on the line. And our entire team just straight up shuts down. And we are going to lose to the Florida Panthers in six games in round number one. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that I fucked up when I added Pekka Pasta and Shorzy to this save file in franchise mode. Obviously having a 97 overall goalie that makes what, like $1 million is literally a cheat code as the Edmonton Oilers go on and win their second straight Stanley Cup. No, their third straight Stanley Cup. Dry Settle will take them to Ted Lindsay, the Hart Trophy as well. The Art Ross will go to McDavid, Mishkov, the Maurice Richard, the Norris, Devin Bouchard. This is just how goddamn good the Edmonton Oilers are. The Calder to Hudson, Matthews the Smythe, Casa will win the Vesna Trophy, and the Selkie will go to Connor McDavid, the best hockey player of all time. Dylan Strom has rejected a $5.5 million offer. Zach Whitecloud decided to re-sign. Barbashev re-signed, and Noah Hannafin as well. So we do got to get back uh, Dylan Strom. I'll probably have to offer him like 5.7 or 5.8 instead. And there we go. We went out in free agency and got Gabe Velarde to a pretty massive deal, but hopefully he can help us out in the long run. All right, so now I think I'm only going to be doing one more season for this Toronto Maple Leaf GM mode. I literally just ended the stream, or I should say I already ended the stream, and I do want to get this to go up. And if I mean, if we do lose in the first round of the playoffs again, I honestly deserve to get fired, so I don't think Toronto should keep me around. Now, our roster, honestly, is pretty similar to last season. We did pick up Velarde in the offseason he's a 90 overall we have a plus five with shane wright and aginla and then we have sharangovic mcdavid and nice Boulin alongside easton cowan and ivan barbashev our fourth line isn't anything special but defensively we are still very good theodore mintikov hannafin liljegren and zach whitecloud and then hopefully a 92 overall Jesper Wallstad can play up to standard and not absolutely shit the bed. Now at the end of my final season, basically as a general manager, we actually go on and have a very good year. I love as soon as I turn the stream off, I simulate very well. But when the stream is on, I always tend to struggle. 45 wins, 26 losses, 11 in overtime, second best in the Atlantic behind Buffalo. And for the entire NHL, we were a top five team as the Oilers continuing to dominate, maybe grabbing their fourth straight of the video. David had a big season, scoring 49 goals, 127 points. Nyes only had 70. Sharangovic was okay. 34 goals is good. Velarde, there it is. Another 30 goal scorer. Shane Wright was, uh, he was decent. Shea Theodore seems to be declining at this point in his career. Aginla as a rookie, 16 points. Jerome Aginla as a rookie had 16 goals and 51 points. Absolutely insane and Jesper Wallstadt, there it is. Great goaltending, 9-10 save percentage, three shutouts, and 45 victories. Connor McDavid would end up leading everybody in points with 127, and for goals, it will go to Austin Matthews, who had 58. Finally having a comeback year after being mid for a few seasons with the Edmonton Oilers because, obviously, he was in that massive NHL trade with McDavid. Probably the biggest trade in NHL history. Now, of course, in the first round of the playoffs, we got to face the Boston Bruins, our arch rivals who we did dethrone a few years ago. It seems like when I do not go into the real-time sim, we perform a lot better, sweeping the Bruins in round number one as we now face the Detroit Red Wings in the second round. Well, unfortunately, we got swept by the Red Wings in the second round of the post season as GM Pasta most likely now has been fired. Finally, a different team other than Edmonton will go on and win the Stanley Cup as the Vancouver Cucks get it done in Game 7 over the Red Wings. That literally could have been us. Now in the postseason, McDavid obviously was our best player. Four goals, nine points. Matthew Nyes had five. Mintikoff, five. Sharangovic wasn't very good. And Jesper Wallstadt only a 9.07 save percentage despite the fact that he had two shutouts in eight games. Meaning that the other games, the other six games, he was absolutely horrible. Again, McDavid will win the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. Matthews, the Maurice Richard, the Norris, to Evan Bouchard. JT Miller, the Con Smythe, as Igor will win the Vesna, And the Selkie will go to McDavid for the second straight season. And that will do it for this video. Unfortunately, it looked like I peaked in year number one as we went all the way winning the Stanley Cup. Year number two, we had a rough season. 
in the regular season. Losing in the playoffs in the first round to Ottawa, I made that trade for Connor McDavid. We made it all the way back to the Cup Finals, but lost to our arch rivals in the Edmonton Oilers. And then, of course, we missed the postseason after that. Had a very rough round number one against Florida Panthers, losing in six games. And then in the final season, we just could not get it done as GM Pasta has been relieved of his duties here in Toronto. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, make sure you turn on notifications so you get notified when I go live or post a video. Let me know in the comments what team I should do next. I would like to say thank you all for watching, and until next time, don't be silly. Wrap your willy.